Okay, so I discovered something today uh, called uh, Asia for All, and I highly recommend trying it out. It may or may not work for you, uh, but for me, it, it improved my um, my latency and everything within Reaper, um, you know, for the better. So I have it linked down here as a direct download. You can just click on this. We're going to. We don't have to save it. We can just run it. So we're just going to run. Just going to go ahead and download. And now click on run once more. And it opens up. And we can basically keep everything default. Click next. Read the license after you read it. Click next. Um, you can put these options on if you want. I just leave them off. I don't feel like I need them at all at this point. Click next, and that's the default location. It's just fine. Install, and that's it. You're done. Press finish. All right, that's it. So now let's go over to Reaper and uh, and see what it did. So we just installed uh, Azure for all. Let's see what it's done for us. Um, so I had this set to wave out before, which you know worked fine for me, and I thought it was uh, you know really good. You can change your buffer size. To allow yourself to do more plugins and everything, which was uh, which was pretty decent, but now we have this ASIO for all. It looks a lot more like what I'm used to seeing for a um, you know interface such as uh, you know Digio 2 or an Mbox or something like that. So uh, you pick the ASIO for all under the ASIO drivers, and your sound card, your your default sound card, should pop up. I have a Realtek, you know HD audio something cheesy that's built in, but uh, it, it works really well, actually. So to configure this, you know, you just basically you just choose the first track and then the last track, just like we've done before, and then click on uh, ASIO configuration, and it's going to show you all the options that you've that you have for your sound card. I have uh, this thing disabled right now, or it's being used by another thing. It, it it's pretty descriptive and in, in a and on all the options on here this is your buffer right here so if we have our buffer all the way down it uses more CPU power slightly more CPU power for a low track uh, count slightly more CPU power but it has the least amount of latency so I recommend tracking with the low buff lowest buffer you possibly can where you know 64 might be a little too low you can inch it up um, a little at a time till you find the sweet spot for your tracking and then if you're doing huge sessions with a whole bunch of tracks you put it all the way up uh, the maximum buffer that you can have so that you can uh, have less CPU usage and you ought to cram more plugins uh, on your session I will um, let me load up a session here and I'll show you the difference in CPU uh, utilization. Um, let's see here. This is a song that I just mixed the other day for a client. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of tracks in this. I think it's about 48 or 50 tracks in this song. So, as you can see, a whole lot of tracks. I didn't put too many plugins on, but I do have some big plugins on these tracks. So, as you can see right now, if I I have the buffer all the way up, so it's not really having a problem, but if I put this buffer all the way down, you're going to see the CPU area here pretty much slam into 100. And if I tried to play this, it would just choke all over the place or not even play. See how these, see how these the faders weren't even smooth or anything. They're just chopping all over the place. So, put this buffer all the way back up and close that out. Press OK, and you press play. You see everything is nice and smooth now. Um, so it's definitely pretty good. Basically, the wave out 
and this ASIO kind of do the same thing, but the ASIO makes it a lot easier to know this is going to be low latency, this is going to be high latency, this is going to be higher CPU usage, this is going to be lower CPU usage. So, highly recommend using ASIO for all if it will work uh, for your sound card. So, that's it for now. Thanks for coming to tutorials for Reaper.com. I'm Johnny from Red Sneaker Records.